I'm going to talk about how do you achieve extraordinary performance? How do you get businesses and people and teams to be extraordinary? Not really performance management, but it's about managing performance. It's about taking a team of people and inviting them, inviting those people to share with me the passion, the belief that we can do something extraordinary and then going out and doing it. People want to make a difference. People want to perform. I've never met anybody who comes into a company and doesn't want to do a good job. Sometimes they make it hard for people to do a good job. We don't train them properly. We don't communicate well. They don't know what the plan is. They don't know what the priorities are. Well, how can I do a great job if I don't know what the priorities are? I hate budgeting, but I love budgets. What do budgets give us? Priorities. Priorities. Too many businesses, too many teams try to do too much. Hands up everybody in the room who'd like to go back to your office tomorrow morning and have more emails and more things on your desk and less time to do them. Okay, let me turn it around. Hands up anybody who'd like to go back to their office and find the business has been reprioritized. You've actually got fewer things to do, fewer emails, and more time to do them and do them properly. Isn't that funny? Sometimes it goes wrong. It really does. It's not the end of the world. Lesson in business for me, I used to think it was the end of the world. Oh, goodness me, I'll get fired. No, you won't. Step back, think about it rationally. It's gone wrong. What do we learn from it? What are we going to do differently next time? How are we going to make sure we don't make that same mistake, error, again? 70 days of torch relay. 1,000 cities, 8,000 carriers. Extraordinary. And it was all live. You could watch it live. It had to happen right. All of that was coordinated by one guy. One guy it was my chauffeur. John Hall managed that. When you talk about performance, you talk about achieving something extraordinary, you talk about getting only a chauffeur, no such thing, to do something extraordinary. John managed all of that. But you have to have the right people in the right roles. Because at the end of the day, our job, if we want to really create extraordinary performance, is to make heroes out of these people. To make heroes out of our team. To make them the champions. Because they are then empowered. And say thank you, say well done. Give them the credit when they do great things. Because this is what holds the business together. These are the people who do the work. Our job as leaders is to provide the culture, the atmosphere, so that they can be successful. If we believe it as the leaders, if we can inspire it, then the team will go out and they'll achieve it. Thank you for your time. The main piece that I'll take away from Kevin is really that how you link the organisational vision right down the chain to the performance objectives and we've been doing some work of how to do that but probably the learning from Kevin is we're probably making that a bit complicated and we need to keep it simple. Sometimes within organisations, within management structures, a lot of the people are more concerned about their own ability and their own successes and Kevin seemed all about you know seeing the best in, in in every one of the team and he used the phrase not just and only the example that he gave around his chauffeur was amazing really we have a very small management team within our organization so if people don't perform it has a huge impact on the team as a whole so the idea of tackling non-performance rang true but also the idea of rewarding and thanking people and that's probably something we could all do more of I have really, really enjoyed it and taken quite a lot from it. And also the networking as well has been really useful. I would thoroughly recommend them to people. You gain some inspiration from them, whatever subject they're covering. <laughs>